YMCA downtown. Yeah. What a great space. We're proud to have everybody here. We're proud of how we have done on signing day in all of our sports, men's and women's soccer. And of course, we're here tonight to talk about football. We're proud of our, all of our coaches. You'll hear from Coach Campbell, of course, but we've got a lot of football coaches, 10 or more who are out recruiting every single day during January, much of December into early February. They have worked extremely hard to bring great young men to our campuses. As you'll look through the list and hear from Coach Campbell, we're not talking about just football talent, but academic talent. Some great GPAs in the group, yes. We're very proud to have eight Arkansans, the most of any Division I school in Arkansas. And of those eight, two from Conway High School. Very proud of that. You don't want to hear from me, you want to hear from Steve Campbell. Coach Campbell. Thank you very much. Check, check, testing. Can you all hear me? Yeah. All right, let's get it started with the big bear claws up. Everybody in the back, let me see, see if they can hear me in the back. Hey, it's great to see all of you out here uh, tonight. Very exciting day. You know, for a football coach, uh, I said this last year, today is a lot like Christmas. And, uh, you know, then this is the part where we get to show all the presents that we got for Christmas. We're very, very excited about the group that we've got on board. Uh, I'd like to congratulate and thank all of our, our coaches. Coaches, if you would, raise your hand. Let's give those guys a, a big hand. They, they did an outstanding job. Uh, would like to also thank all of our coaches' wives for, for uh, let, let, letting those guys hit the road. Uh, you know, recruiting is a, you know, today is kind of a culmination of a year-round. Recruiting nowadays, it, it's a year-round deal. We, you start the day after signing date on, on next year's class. And, you know, with guys like Braylon, you know, we started the, the, the day I got here on campus. Uh, was introduced to, to, to Braylon Smith and, and pinpointed him as a guy that, that we wanted in our program. So, you know, recruiting is not a, a one-month or a two-month deal. It's a year-round deal. And, I uh, would like to thank our coaches on, on the outstanding job that, that they've done. You know, this class is a I'm very proud of, the, of this recruiting class. You know, we signed eight guys at the midterm. Those eight guys we feel like can come in and immediately fill some holes that we, that we had due to graduation uh, with guys moving on that have, that have finished their el eligibility. Uh, and then we added 20 guys today, 20 high school players, uh, where uh, quite a few of them will be able to come in and help this year, but all of them uh, have tremendous futures and really set us up for uh, years down the road. So we're very excited about the signing class. You know, in this signing class, we have, you know, Brad mentioned earlier, uh, we had eight guys in the Arkansas top 80, which is number one in the state, more than the Hogs, more than, more than the Red Wolves, more, more, more than anybody in the state. We signed... We signed guys from eight different states. So we, we fanned out we, our, our number one, you know, when I got here, we said our, our number one recruiting area would start right here, I mean, centered in, in Conway. We signed two guys from Conway High and then fanned out from there with a total of eight and then got uh, players from seven different states uh, that surround Arkansas and uh, are adjacent to the surrounding states. So very pleased with our with our signing class. Uh, if we, now we'll, uh, this is the part where we get to show our Christmas present. So uh, let, we can go ahead and, and roll the film and, and, and we'll start talking about our, our midterm guys. This is Chandler Dexter. Chandler played at, at Northeast Mississippi Community College and then transferred, signed a Division 1A scholarship to Florida Atlantic. Redshirted there this past year and uh, we signed him. He's got two years left. Chandler's a big physical tight end. He's 6'5", about 260. He's, he's noted here for, for his blocking. He's a very physical blocker. Uh, but he's also a guy that you can split out and throw the ball to. He's a lot like, uh, you know, a Rob Gronkowski kind of guy. That, and we'd like to start doing that a little more with our tight ends, flexing them out and, and throwing them the ball. You can see here is his catching ability. Here he's lined up in the backfield. 
uh, ISO and a linebacker. He's a guy that you can move around a lot. All right, James Graves. James played on a uh, two-time state championship high school team and then played at Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, he was their starting middle linebacker for the last two years. Uh, he, he's a big-time football player. He played in the Mississippi-Alabama All-Star game, which that's a big deal in, in Mississippi and Alabama. Most of those guys are, are SEC football players. Uh, this is in the playoff game against Itawamba Community College. Uh, here you can see he, he's great against the run and the pass. A very good football player. thing I want to point out about James, he's 3.8, graduated with his AA degree with a 3.8 in junior college. He, he was a Phi Theta Kappa, which is the highest honor society that in, in the community colleges. Jalen Lofton, is a, uh, he's a transfer from East Central Community College over in, in Mississippi. East Central, traditionally, not a, not a great football team. This year, uh, due to James Lofton and Michael Parton, boom. Big time hitter, very physical. This year, they made the playoffs for the first time in 20 years, and a big part of it is James, uh, Jalen Lofton. You know, we, we, we lost Bobby Watkins to, to graduation, who was an outstanding, who was an outstanding safety. He'll have a chance to come in and, and, and make an immediate impact. He's a big time playmaker. His brother, and I was not gonna miss on Jalen. You know, we, I did recruit his brother. His brother went to Nichols and was an outstanding player the last two years. We've had to play against him. I said, I'm not going to make the same mistake with, uh, with Jalen. Austin McIntosh, we lost an outstanding snapper this past year uh, to graduation. And uh, Austin was a top deep snapper in, in that league. And, uh, and we were able to get him in in January. He's played in the Mississippi uh, Junior College All-Star Game as the deep snapper. and, uh, and, and will come in and, and, and fill that void for us. Good student uh, as well. Graduated from uh, Gulf Coast with a 3.4. All right, Trey Mosley, uh, big time football player. He was offered by Oklahoma, uh, Baylor, and wound up signing with Nebraska. Has been there the last two years and was a three star by rivals. He'll come in and, and help uh, alleviate where Dylan Winfrey graduated at the cornerback spot. Great return man as well. Tremendous speed. He, he is a uh, big time playmaker with, with great speed, uh, great cover guy, big time football player. See, that, he's a corner that can really run and is a return guy. You normally don't see guys tackle like that that are, that are, that are really good corners. So he is a great tackling cover guy. He does, He does not mind hitting you for a, for a speed guy. So we're, we're very excited about Trey Mosley. Got him in in January. He's in the weight room lifting right now. So very excited about that. Micah Parton. Mike is also a guy from, uh, from East Central Community College. Now understand East Central hadn't been to the playoffs in, over there in, in 20 years. Uh, Micah was voted team captain, led them to the playoffs. They were top 10 in the nation finish. Uh, he's a tremendous leader, very good football player. You know, we've uh, lost five offensive linemen this year. Uh, Mike is a 6'2", 300-pound guy, very physical, uh, big, strong guy that, again, he was voted captain of his high school team and voted captain of a, a playoff team in the, in the community colleges. So uh, he's a guy that will come in and, and definitely uh, give us some uh, immediate impact on the offensive line. He can move for, for a big guy. Now, this guy here, number nine, signed at Auburn. That guy that he's blocking. All right, Patrick Ponder. Patrick, the guy's never made a B, straight A's. Uh, 4.0 guy, Phi Theta Kappa. Uh, he's not only a great student, he was first team in JCAA All-American. All the junior colleges in the nation, here's your punter. Way over his head, the ball landing way back. I mean, he's got a howitzer. He can boom it. Watch them. They all take off running. Everywhere they line up, 
That ball's going over their head. He can really, really boom it. So, uh, you know, our, our punter this for the past two years has been a guy named Matt Spencer. Did an outstanding job. But uh, Patrick, we were able to, uh, to fill that void really well with uh, Patrick Ponder. We're excited about him. I mean, he, he can boom it. Big time leg. All right, Connor Wood. Connor, again, is the guy that we were able to get in at the break. He's 6'6", 310 pounds, uh, out of NEO, just up the road in Miami, Oklahoma. He can play all three spots. Here he's at tackle. All right. Uh, he's got good feet for a 6'6", 310-pound guy. He can really move, is a physical football player, and is also a, a, a very smart guy. Uh, he can play center guard or tackle, which, uh, which will definitely, definitely help. He ought to see some immediate play in time. Can't wait to get these guys out. He'll, again, all of these guys will be there for spring training. All right, those were our, our midterm guys, the guys that are already here lifting, running, taking class. Next, we're going to our, our high school guys that we signed today. You guys, we're very excited. This is Carlos Blackman from Gosnell, Arkansas. He was rated, uh, Hootens Magazine, I think, had him rated the number 20 player in the state of Arkansas. But you watch this guy's film, he's got Bo Jackson type. He's 225 pounds and can fly. Yeah. I'm very excited about him. He's a three sport athlete, uh, football, baseball, basketball, 225 pounds. And you can see he's, he can move for 225. I mean, he, he is a, he is a big time back. Um, you, you don't find that all the time, a 225 that can run the way that he can run, got great hands being a, a, a three sport guy with the speed. So he, he's got a chance to come in and, you know, uh, Blake Beasley graduate, Kier Crosley. Kier is a three-star. He was committed to Louisiana Monroe until three weeks ago. He's, you got the 225 back. Now you got 160 pound back. This guy rushed for 3,000 yards as a junior in high school, second most in the nation. Uh, he is a legit speed guy, uh, track guy that uh, can fly, uh, great hands. Can also see him playing some slot receiver along the lines of a Jatavius Wilson. They're, they're not going to catch him. He rushed for 6,000 yards in his career, which is very, very productive. Again, they're, they're not going to catch him. He's a guy that he had all of the Southland Texas schools on him after, after uh, he decommitted from Monroe. Braden to Spain is the number 47, number 47 rated player in the, in the state of Oklahoma. Outstanding wide receiver, uh, again, a three-sport athlete, a great basketball player. You can see he's got great size at wide receiver. He's a 200-pounder. He's a big guy that's got speed to get down the field. Uh, tremendous hands and, and good size. You know, you don't, you don't find many big receivers like that that can get behind the defense. And, uh, and here he shows some run after the catch ability. I guess it's this next one. He does a great job of playing the ball in the air. Scored 32 touchdowns uh, receiving, so that's very, very impressive. Nathan Grant. To me, Nathan's 6'4", 225. Uh, he's the next Jonathan Woodard kind of guy. Uh, very excited about Nathan. Uh, he's very long, does a great job of using his hands. Uh, he's been very, very well coached in high school. He, good ball get off. You see him use his hands, get separation to get around the edge. Outstanding pass rusher. Again, use his hands to lock him out, get off a block. 
and get after the quarterback. Coach Augustine did a great job. Coach Augustine recruited Nathan. Uh, Eastern Michigan had offered him, flew him up. Uh, it was that weekend where they had that snowstorm, and that, that definitely helped. And we, we, we tweeted him the uh, 72 degrees and beautiful in Conway. But he does a great job with his hands and really a, an outstanding pass rusher. Joe Hampton, Joe, uh, outstanding football player. Again, I think he was rated the number, number 13, 14 player in the, uh, in, in the state of Arkansas. Uh, outstanding football player. Uh, was a multi-sport athlete. Uh, good size and speed. He'll have a chance to come in and, and make an impact early. Great one-handed catch, and then uh, shows running ability after the catch. Great agility there to stay in bounds. Yeah, number 13 player in the state, 2,100 yards receiving, was a rival's three-star. A lot of playmaking ability there. <laughs> Big time football player. Adrian Harris, uh, offensive, offensive guard, uh, outstanding player. He's a rivals two star. He's very quick and agile. Uh, for that size, plays with a mean streak. Very aggressive, quick player. He was first team all East Texas and is also a member of his high school's powerlifting team. You can see here with the pancake block. Very good run blocker and, and pass blocker. So we're excited about, excited about getting Adrian on board. Jackie Harville. Jackie is a very versatile, extremely fast athlete. Uh, he was in the track state championship as a junior. Here you can see him take it 96 yards for a touchdown. They're not going to catch him. Uh, he's pulling away. He's got great speed. Uh, he rushed for 2,100 yards as a senior, went for over 2,000 yards. Uh, he also doubles as a great special teams guy. He's a great punt returner and kick returner. And Jackie's a two-way player. He can also play some defense to help out in the, in the defensive secondary. You know, we tried to load up on some skill guys, some backs, receivers, DBs, and Jackie is a, here, here you can see him on defense. Uh, He's played both ways and been an impact player. Boom, he comes down and, and, and feels it hard. Victor Hill. Victor's a young man out of, out of West Florida. Uh, great speed. He is a sudden boom. He's a, a sudden explosive. Bang. A very violent football player. Watch him run. You can see him suck this up. He's got, a, he's got a little bit of a mean streak, too. And he, he, he's a playmaker on defense. He, uh, we beat UT Chattanooga on him. He visited them last weekend and said, Coach, I'm a UCA Bear. Coach Carpenter did a tremendous job on him. Uh, J.W. Jones is a guy that uh, Coach Kitchen uh, found and, and did a great job of recruiting. Very good football player that uh, his, his best football is still in front of him. A big physical guy. His brother uh, played at SEMO, was the OVC Defensive Player of the Year at SEMO, went on and played eight years in the NFL. Uh, played with the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Browns, and I think the Cowboys, but had an eight-year career. And uh, this guy, we, we really feel like 
uh, is going to develop and, and be an outstanding guy because he's, he's very well built, uh, has a great frame, and uh, is an honor student. So we're, we're excited about having him. So that's going to help restock between him and Nathan Grant and Austin Norris that's coming up, help restock that, that defensive line. Justin Meadows is another local guy from Lowen Oak that is a, uh, a big-time football player, very athletic, very fast, 100-meter state champ, another return guy. Watch, I mean, he's got great speed. He is a playmaker. They're not going to catch him. He's a 100-meter he's a, he's a state champ. Uh, he was on the Hootons, uh, all Arkansas team, state champ as a long jumper. Uh, is a guy that, that played offense and defense. We're going to put him at corner, at uh, defensive back, and uh, let him cover some of those receivers. And he'll give us a lot of speed on defense. So very excited about getting Justin on board. A very, very versatile, very versatile guy that's used to making plays. Very productive guy. All right, Josh Nix is out of Deschler, uh, Deschler Alabama, uh, North Alabama. Uh, big physical tight end. Uh, also had visits to Murray State and UT Martin. Uh, big physical blocking tight end uh, that we just didn't feel like you, we felt like he was too good of a football player to, to pass up. Very good blocker, uh, but he's got soft hands as well. He can play your fullback, tight end, and you can split him out and throw him a pass. Played a lot of defensive line in high school as well. Austin Norris from, from right here in Conway. Hey. Very, very, very excited about Austin. Uh, you know, Austin has a, you know, a tremendous, tremendous future. You, there you can see him on the, on the pass rush. Uh, is a big guy. Austin does not look like he weighs 200. I think he weighed 250, no, 268 when we put him on. The, he looks like he's 215, 220. Great pass rush there. Gets after the quarterback. Very disruptive. He's going to be... Austin can be 300 pounds and still look thin. Uh, he is a very, very well-built guy uh, with a tremendous frame and uh, a, a great, has got a great future. Very strong. Here you can see him lock the guy out, get off the block and, and make a tackle. Uh, Going to be an outstanding defensive lineman. Big time football player. We're excited about Austin. Uh, Brandon Northcross is from Ashdown, Arkansas. Uh, another local guy. He's a great athlete that we'll put on defense. Played offense and defense in high school. Scored 22 touchdowns as a senior. That's him playing, playing defense there. Again, another return guy that will definitely help on special teams. You can see him. He's a sudden, quick. Fast, but that's against that's against Nashville, the Scrappers, the uh, state champs. He took it to the house. So here, that was one special teams touchdown. You can see they block it. He winds up picking it up, and again, they're 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 not going to catch him. So he's a, he's a playmaker on on defense. So adding some speed and playmaking ability to to the mix pretty quick. And very good tackler. Kevin Perkins is a guy out of uh, Kevin, ready the number two running back in the state of Mississippi. Very another big back that can fly. Great speed at 220 pounds. He weighed 222 on his visit, and that's moving for 222. That's him at quarterback there, and they're not going to catch him. He's 220 and can really, really run. Kevin had uh, visited SEMO, Missouri State, uh, Jackson State, Alcorn State, uh, and we were very pleased to, uh, to get his commitment last week. Uh, Coach Bauer uh, did, did, did an outstanding job of, of recruiting. Coach Bauer and, and Coach Warner, big back. 
Robert Rochelle is another young man out of, uh, out of Louisiana that's got a tremendous future. He is a track state champion. Um, I think he came in third. He should win it this year as a senior. Scored a lot of touchdowns on offense. We're going to put him on defense. We're going to put him back at corner and safety. Again, uh, we're trying to get as much speed and size on defense as we possibly can. And uh, this guy, watch him how fast he closes on this. Boom. I mean, he, and he's a return guy as well. Again, a very versatile football player. And again, another track guy. We we're wanted to recruit speed. So he's a big time playmaker out of, out of Shreveport. Had a lot of production on offense. One of the things that we looked for this year, we wanted production. Guys who scored touchdowns, gained yards, caught passes. He was a very productive guy. Parker Romo, uh, outstanding kicker. Here it is, got some, some, some punting. He doubles as a, a punter and a kicker. We found him, we had our, our summer camps, and uh, you know, we had about 30 kickers from all over the, the country at our, our kicking camp. And Parker won the award going away for kickoff distance, field goal accuracy. Uh, he had a tremendous camp. He was voted uh, one of the top 100 kickers in the country by at Chris Saylor's camp. He won our award at our camp. Uh, he's got a, a very strong leg. Leandre Rux, is a, he's every bit of 6'6", very tall guy, a strong Arkansas. Again, a both ways guy that we're going to put on defense. We're going to start him off at safety. No telling how big this, this young man's going to get during his career here. He's 6'6", 180. He may wind up being 230, 240 and be a DN, another Woodard, or a, there's no telling. Uh, we're going to, but he can run. He ran 4'5 at our, at our summer camp and uh, had great hands and, and ball skills. Braylon Smith, yeah. Yeah. very excited about Braylon. Braylon is a three-star quarterback. Uh, we, we pinpointed the one quarterback that we wanted. We looked seven or eight states, and the one guy that we wanted was from three miles down the road, and we were very, very excited to, uh, to get Braylon on board. Uh, Braylon, tremendous arm. All you got to do is watch him throw it once at a camp or in person. You can tell he, he can really throw the football. Uh, but the thing that excites me, he can pull it down and take off running as well. Braylon averaged over six yards a pop this, this past year running the football. So he is a definite dual threat guy that we, we look forward to, to using in a dual threat capacity. Uh, very smart quarterback. Uh, led his team as a junior uh, deep into the, had him had number one in the state for many weeks and led him deep into the playoffs. So we're very, very excited about about Braylon. Tyler Wallace. Tyler played D-line in high school. I'm going to move him over to O-line. Uh, very long football player, quick, athletic, uh, has got great height, strong, very strong guy for his body type. And he's going to get bigger. He's long and lean right now, but he'll finish up somewhere in the 300 pound range before he's a senior. He played for a guy named uh, Jason Summers. Jason was his O-line coach. Jason was the first guy that I ever signed at Delta State 25 years ago. And Jason said, Coach, I got one for you. And went down there and, and got Tyler. And we're very, very excited about him. We're going to put him at offensive tackle. And he's going to turn into a, uh, a, very, a very good offensive tackle. Hunter Watts, we listed Hunter at 6'7", because that's as high as our, our deal went. He, he's every bit of 6'7", maybe 6'8", 6'9". But a, he's out of San Antonio, Texas, and uh, he, he is a, a big, physical, yeah, he, he's, he's a road grader. He just removes them. 
He removes them from the big. So you, you can see why, why we're very, very excited about, uh, excited about this class. You know, to me, it is a great mix of playmakers. We wanted production. We didn't go after uh, as much potential. and th We wanted production, guys who have made plays already. And uh, this group, we feel like, gave us a lot of production. It filled some immediate needs that we had, but also set us up very, very well for, for the future, for two years, three years, and, and four years down the road. We start spring training January, February, March. March the 5th. We've got our spring game April the 9th. We've got our Super Bear Saturday, April the 9th, where we'll have, have a lot of different things going on along with uh, the football spring game. We'd love to, to have all of y'all out for the April 9th uh, purple and gray game. And then back September the 1st against Houston Baptist at home. All right. We do, we do not leave the state of Arkansas, you know, whereas last year we didn't get home until late, until right before uh, Halloween. This year, this year, we do not leave the state of Arkansas until the month of October. So uh, we, we can really get out and get behind our bears. Thank you all all for coming out and bear claws up.